John, thanks. The constant swap of warm weather, cold air, snow and rain is creating a maze on the roadways. Yes, you've noticed the massive holes that are opening up in the streets and interstates that you drive on every day. Here's one that did some damage today on Burlington Pike in northern Kentucky. It is one of many. Walter Smith Randolph joins us now with what to do to get them taken care of. Walter. Yeah, Robin Camby, right now there are 383 open pothole requests in the city of Cincinnati. Take a look at the interactive pothole website by the city of Cincinnati. You can see the most pothole requests are in West Price Hill. And mechanics tell us that they're seeing a lot of pothole damage and they're blaming the weather. If you've driven in the tri-state recently, then you know it's pothole season. These craters are causing a lot of damage. Alignments knocked out, bent wheels, cracked wheels, new wheels. That's just some of what Lane Adams is seeing at tire discounters on Five Mile. I've probably in the last two weeks have replaced 10 wheels, probably 20 tires from pothole damage. Kathy Dassenbrook is one of those customers. She hit a pothole on Columbia Parkway. I have seen a lot this year. Um, I don't know if I don't know if they're on the rise, but it does seem like since the recent cold weather, we've had a lot of potholes. Bingo, says Lane, and this recent rain isn't helping. Constant uh, difference in temperatures from freezing uh, back to 50 degrees, back to freezing. So all the little cracks are filling up with water. They're freezing, breaking up the blacktop, and then the water comes, then they warm up again. It washes away. Cars run over top of it. And while we can't change the weather, Lane has a few tips to help you avoid the pothole problems. Leave a little more assured distance between you and the car in front of you. You have a chance, to, if they swerve, you're not going to automatically go through what they missed. That gives you a chance to be able to avoid it also. When you follow them too close, you just don't stand a chance. So who pays for the damage? Well, you do, of course, but there are some ways you can try and get that money back, but you're going to have to fill out a lot of paperwork. Take a look. These are some of the forms that you have to fill out with the local state road departments, also local cities and governments to try and get that back. But you'll have to provide uh, pictures, and you'll also have to try and prove that the agency knew about the pothole and did nothing to fix it. And even if you're approved, it could take months, even years, to try and get that money back. Robin Cammy. That sounds like it'd be really difficult, Walter. Thank you. It does take about five days for a pothole request to be filled. We have told you in the past about how Domino's is helping to fill potholes. The pizza company is giving grants to one city in every state to help fix potholes. Toledo and South Bend received some help, but Domino's still hasn't picked a city in Kentucky. We have a link set up at local12.com so you can try to make it happen where you live. And you'll also find a link there to the claim forms that Walter was just telling you about.